brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. Ashley's with us in Philadelphia. Hi, Ashley. Welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hi, Dave. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? So my boyfriend is receiving a pretty large settlement um, in the next coming months, and we're kind of debating. uh, We're we're looking to buy our first home, um, and obviously once the home comes, uh, once the right home comes, we'll we'll do that. But he's stuck on paying the house out in full, um, and I'm wondering if it's better to do a big down payment and get a mortgage on the house. Why do you want a mortgage? I don't I don't know. I feel like putting a huge lump of that settlement into a house. Why do you, why do you want a mortgage? Like more. I I'm not I'm not sure. Well, you just told <laughs> just me you wanted a mortgage. That. What do you think he yeah, should do with I, it? I I just want him to use it as wisely as possible. Um Sounds like I, he wants I, to I avoid debt. How much? How much is he getting? Yeah. Um, right around half a million. Okay. And how much is the house price you're thinking about buying? Um, we were thinking like mid threes. Okay. All right. Um, is the settlement taxed? No, it's not. Okay. All right. Um. Well, let me uh, send him a warning through you. Mm-hmm. And you're not going to like this, okay? Okay. There is no we. You're not married. Exactly. Yeah. There's, I, there's a I'm he. Coming, I'm coming into it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's a he. It's his money. Mm-hmm. And so yeah. if he buys a house, it goes into his name, not our name. Mm-hmm. Unless you're married. Are y'all getting married? Um, Eventually. <laughs> We've okay. been together for six years, so. A- apparently, apparently not. Okay. So, um... <laughs> I mean, six years and you hadn't paint, paint or get off the ladder. I mean, so you've already figured out what you're doing. But the, um, yeah, I, I, if I'm him, what's his, what is his income? Um, right around, uh, 55, I think. Okay. So let's pretend for a second. Let's just reverse engineer this so that mm-hmm. you'll, it'll help you with your heart on understanding where our voice advice is coming from. Let's mm-hmm. pretend that he made $55,000, had $200,000 in the bank, and a paid-for $300,000 house. And you walked up to that guy and you met that guy. He had a paid-for $300,000 house, $200,000 in the bank. He makes $55,000 a year. Would you then tell him to go get a mortgage because that's wise? No. Same thing, though, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I just did it backward. Yeah. It's the same exact thing. So the only thing that, that could fall under the heading of wisdom is if you if it made sense, and I don't think it does, and Georgia doesn't think it does, to borrow on your home to do investing. And effectively, if you're going to invest some, let's say he put 100000 down, and instead of paying the other 200 on the house, put it in mutual funds, okay? Which is kind of what's mm-hmm. probably rattling around in the back of your head somewhere. Um, if, if that makes sense then borrowing on the paid-for house to do the same thing would also make sense. But by reverse engineering it, it makes you realize, oh, there's risk involved here. What was Mm -hmm. the – I know you can't get into lawsuit details. Was he injured for the settlement? He was, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Is he okay? He's Yeah, he's great now. He can still work. No no permanent damage to his income. No. No, it was was a, a miracle heal. Good, good. I'm glad for him and you too. Yeah. So I would tell him to pay cash for his house and and set aside an emergency fund and invest the balance long term. And by the way, if you don't have any payments in the world and you make $55,000, you could pay what's the equivalent of a house payment into your investments every month. And that alone will make you a millionaire in just a few years. Okay. Does that make sense too? It does. It does. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I would do, but um, uh, yeah, those of you that are uh, shacking up and playing house or whatever you want to call that stuff, um, be sure that you keep your legal stuff completely separate, and you have to be careful even with your pronouns in this case, not like woke pronouns, but like pronouns like the, the you have to get your, like your- we're buying a house. We're buying a house. We aren't doing anything. 
He is. We're getting a settlement. No, he is. If you're married, there's a we. When you're married, you become French. We, we, right? That's how that works. But until you're married, there's not a we. Uh, Legally, I'm talking about. Um, and, And honestly, actually, that also leaves you in a... Uh, a predicament as well that I don't want you in. I would rather you have the safety in this relationship and the things that you've been pouring into the, the economics you've been pouring into this for six years. I'd rather you have the safety of marriage. Marriage represents safety for you, young lady. So I, I, I would just as a, you know, a guy who's seen all the stuff go bad. Cause that's all we do. We work with a lot of people who are things went bad I want I want you to have a better life than than this is setting up because you know one day he just decides you're not there legally he didn't have to do anything except tell you to move he didn't even have to evict you you don't even have tenants rights you just move out you're a squatter you know no equity nothing and that's just um you know you don't want to play that out for ninety years you don't want to play that out I've been married forty three years you don't want to play that out forty three years and see how that looks it doesn't this doesn't age well it's like cheap wine it doesn't age well so you know that that's just me loving you right now telling you that for you create your free every dollar budget today the simplest way to budget for your life